morning loves. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Twelve days of Christmas, and is are you supposed to do it like backwards? Are you supposed to do from like twelve to one? Like t it's twelve days until Christmas. I don't even know, but we'll just call it day two. Um, I just woke up from a nap this morning. I did a lot. I woke up super early and I went to run some errands with Ashley, and then we came back. We went grocery shopping. She went grocery shopping with me, which was nice. And then we had breakfast. It was really delicious. And for some reason, I just felt like I was in a funk this morning. I felt like I didn't want to do anything. I don't know, like, do you guys ever get in those moods? And I was really tired, so I took a nap. And when I woke up, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to vlog today because I'm just, like, not in the mood to, like, be super happy and cheery. Or just, I mean, I don't know. I just... I, that's why I took a nap and when I woke up like I just felt like in this weird like funky like mood I don't know how to explain it because it's there's no specific reason for it So I just like pulled out my phone I was looking at things and I'm like maybe if I watch somebody like someone's vlog Someone's vlog miss something funny and like or something cheery like it'll make me feel better It'll lift my spirits and it worked like it really did work. I watched have Kevin Hart He's one of my favorite comedians ever and I love following him on snapchat He's always so positive and like he works out every morning he like gets you going and talks very positive and just like his vibe makes you really happy and excited so it really did work it made me feel better and I was like you know what I was like I'm gonna get up I'm going to edit my vlog that I'm going to do um I wasn't going to edit it and I was like should I do 12 days of Christmas like should I not like would people want to see it and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna do it like it made me feel so much better and then I also am like I'm gonna work I'm gonna clean my house like it just made me feel so much better and I also put on a Christmas movie to also make me feel better just because I don't know sometimes it's so weird there's like no specific reason for it but um you just get like in these funk funk moods like I don't know do you know how to, do you know what I'm talking about have you guys ever gotten those like what do you do to get over them like and if you are in one like there's just here's a little tip like you could just like watch something that you really like or just like watch someone that you know is going to be really happy and positive so I'm a human being I get those moments too um right now my finger is itching if you do you guys see that right here this is a bird from my ring so when I was in Mexico we were standing outside of the church in Santuario to go see La Virgen de Guadalupe. And when I was there, the sun was so hot. I was like this for about um, maybe half an hour standing in the sun like this. Because the, the sun was in my face and it was burning me. And it got my wedding ring so hot to the point where it burned my skin. I haven't been wearing my wedding or engagement ring to let it heal. And I feel like there's something missing. It feels so light and I'm like there's something missing like my ring is missing but I have to let it heal because it's still itching me I have the Grinch on right now and Gingy's right here Gingy hi little girl you are the cutest where's Mr. Cocos Mr. Glenn Coco, there you are. <laughs> I'm losing my voice because the concert last night was so much fun. I was screaming my head off. I've been meaning to open some boxes with you guys. This one is so cute. It says Princess Vibes have arrived. And this one is from SL Miss Glam. And oh, wow, she collaborated with her. Oh my God, I love Liz. I love her so much. And this is a set that she collaborated with her on. This is really cool. This small contour will help you blend any cream products. I hope these brushes bring you joy and make you feel beautiful every time you use them. Hugs and kisses, Liz. How cute. This is gorgeous. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. I think that she also came out with like a mermaid version of the brushes. I love her brushes. I use these every single day, so I'm excited. Oh, there's more. <gasps> there is more. Oh my gosh, look at the macaroon brush set. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? And then um, we have a cute little guide. Oh yes, let me show you. Where's that? Let me show you. 
because she has a mermaid brush set. Does it just, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but she does have a mermaid brush set. This is her, she's so gorgeous. I met her in person at Generation Beauty and she looks like a Barbie doll. She was walking around and people were like, oh my God, she looks like a Barbie doll. I'm like, I know. It says, hi, Polina, I'm so pleased to introduce to you our fairy tale glam collection in collaboration with the lovely Liz. Here is the rose gold inspired set. Please share with your subbies and please share with your subbies. Her coupon code is Ms. Liz Set to get 30% off all of the fairy tale glam set. So if you guys want 30% off, I will have a coupon code for you guys. It's Miss Liz, Miss Liz Set for 30% off, which is nice. We have this one right here. It is from Pure Cosmetics. Let's open that puppy up. Nice. Okay. Ooh. She is so gorgeous and he is so fabulous. I saw this on people's Snapchat and I got really excited. I felt really honored to like get one of the PR packages. Oh my God, they're so fab. And no way, is this like a little video? That is awesome! Did you guys see that? That's crazy. What a package! Fancy! Oh, and then we have this to charge it if you wanted to charge it. Open it. These are the pigments and I want to play with them. I'm definitely going to go all out on my makeup. And these are the beautiful lipsticks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And these are the beautiful lipsticks. Oh, they are stunning. I'm in love. Especially with this one. I really want to try this one on because I just feel like this is my shade and then the, this one too. This is really cool. Thank you so much, Pierre. I love the packaging. Oh my God, it looks so amazing. I bet they're so proud and they're so excited. And I bet their families are so proud and excited too. Um, you have those, that. Am I opening it right? I don't even know if I'm opening it. Ah, I gave myself a paper cut. Please don't bleed. It looks pretty bad. Oh, wow. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. Oh, well. I opened it the wrong way. <laughs> this is the way it's supposed to be. We have, oh, no way. They came out with their own sponges. Nice. I'm going to try them. I love sponges and always need more because I use them so much. This is a cute little eyeshadow palette. The e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes are always really good. Like, I feel like they came out with some really great products. And they're very pigmented. Um, some of my favorite palettes are from e.l.f. So I'm excited to get this one because I haven't tried it yet. And then this is lip liner and blending brush. And then we have another eyeshadow palette. This is a cute little palette right over here. And then how cute for cookies. That was adorable. Oh, we have one more over here. And this is Velvet Matte Lipstick. So we just had dinner, it was so good, but Ricardo thought there was onion in the sauce, so he didn't like it. Um, I think I put a little bit too much onion in the sauce, according to him. So we're going to make some brownies, just because I went grocery shopping today, I saw the box, and I was like, you know what, that looks delicious, I'm just going to give us a little bit treat tonight. This is what the box looks like and it's brownie and a cookie so I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of this together and what else do I need? I think it's in water and that's it and then we do the cookie mix separately. <laughs> say bye to the vlog so it's the next day and I forgot to say goodbye to you guys my face is swollen because I itched my eye with ginger after touching one of ginger's toys that she had her saliva on I'm allergic to ginger but I'm not allergic to cocoa I'm allergic to dogs and cocoa is hypoallergenic is that how you say it 
hypoallergenic, right, Mr. Cocos? So, unfortunately, ginger. I'm allergic to ginger saliva, not her dander. Which is weird. That's what my eye is. So, oh, it looks worse. So, after I bake the cookie brownie, I look like death. After I. <laughs> <laughs> after I cooked the after after I baked the cookie bounty, Ricardo and I watched what is it called? The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio and it was an amazing movie, but I had nightmares. Um so I'm just gonna say goodbye to you guys and I'll talk to you guys in this vlog's video, which is tomorrow's vlogmas. And good night. Which is myself.